Hello and welcome to my Boral Dogmatica deck profile. So, what's the goal of the deck? The goal of the deck is to kind of play like a normal Dogmatica deck with the addition of the card Bayonet Punisher. This is a great quick play spell that has four different effects that it gains depending on the types of Boral monsters in your graveyard. If there's a fusion in your graveyard, it's a non-targeting banish of a monster on the field. If there's an Xyz in the graveyard, it's a non-target banish of a spell or trap on the field. If there's a Synchro in your graveyard, you can banish three cards from your opponent's extra deck. And if there's a Link in your graveyard, you can banish three cards from your opponent's graveyard. Non-targeting. This deck is only legal for like one more day if you're playing in the US or for nine more days if you're in Asia, Europe or Africa. Yeah. Um, Konami just dropped a ban list while I was about to make this video, so I'm reshooting this right now. Um, you can say that Borrow Lord Savage Dragon in this build was just too powerful for Konami, so they had to hit this deck. Let's jump right into the deck list, and then I'm gonna show you a replay of the deck in action at the end of the video. First, we are playing the Gen and Ken engine. This helps us to trigger our trust and talents, as well as get one more search with the Matrix. And we can link off the Gen into a copy of Almirage to then special summon Ecclesia from our hand. Then we are playing the three Ecclesia, two Maximus, one Fleur de Lis, two White Relic, one White Knight, and one Albazoa. For the ritual spells, we are playing three Dogmatic Calamity because this isn't as searchable as Macabre. Macabre we can add with pre preparation of rights from our deck to the hand. Then the three already mentioned Trust and Talents. One called by trust can most of the time add us a Nadir Servant because Nadir Servant is great. Then three Dogmatica Matrix. This allows us to send one monster from our opponent's extra deck to the graveyard and it gives us up to two searches. And three of the mentioned Bayonet Punisher. I really, really like this card. And even if you open multiple of this, you can just activate one on your turn, banish three cards from your opponent's extra deck, and then on your opponent's turn, get all of the effects it's really really cool you probably will never need the link effect because without an extra deck your opponent is not gonna play quite much unless you're playing against something like unchained and they can still do a little bit without the extra deck and finally we are playing one dogmatica punishment because technically ecclesia can search this and it's a decent set in the extra deck there aren't many cards that you really need the only cards that you need are like the three arc lights the Almirage to link into and the Garura and most importantly all of the Borrow Lord monsters. It's just such a shame that they had to ban it. <laughs> they had to ban Borrow Lord Savage Dragon for exactly this deck. Too broken, Konami realized it. Props to the Konami intern for making the ban list. So we are playing the Boral Lord Savage Dragon because this is the only Boral Xyz. At Boral Synchro we are playing one Boral X Charge Dragon because this is the only Xyz they have. One Boral Lord Furious Dragon because this is the only fusion they have. And for the Link I'm playing the Boral Lord Dragon just because I like this the most. You can play any other Boral, Xyz, uh, Boral Link as well. Uh, yeah, the side deck is just cards you can add with Trust, 3 Draw and 2 Pang. Let's jump right into the replay.